Hi, and uh, welcome to this presentation. My name is uh, Bernd Johannesson, and I'll be showing you how to get the most out of your Viz Anchor. Now, the Viz Anchor that we're looking at here is a very simple application written for the iPad. Now, I'm looking at it in the portrait view right now, but it does work also rotating over into the landscape view. Now, in the landscape view, we'll be showing four icons of the graphics in your rundown and a slightly bigger uh, thumbnails than in the portrait view where we're showing six. Basic operation is simply tap the item. It will be indicated with a little play button. I can simply tap that again and it will immediately play. Now if you want to prevent it from rotating while you're actually moving around in the studio, simply use the iPad rotation lock switch, double tap on your iPad button and move it over to the, to the left side, set your lock and you're good to go. Now it will not rotate it on me again accidentally. So we'll keep it in the portrait view for now. Now you'll notice on the sides there are some additional buttons indicating some additional actions I can perform. Now again, if I simply select my item, I can very quickly take this to ear simply by double tapping it. But I do also have a button indicating a take action. So an alternative is to use the button which is very easily accessible and deliberately put on the side here for you to be able to control them with your thumbs so that without drawing focus to the iPad, I can keep a very natural flow in the show simply by using my thumbs. So again, I can tap this one here. I have another button for the continue that you notice on the side here. I can simply slide my finger across it in order to advance it to the next pause point. So while I'm talking about the graphic, I can advance them to the next one. Again, no attention needed to be put on the iPad itself. Now, in this scenario here, I'm talking about a stock, Statoil, Norwegian oil company. Now, if I wanted to go back and show, hey, look at the correlation between the stock price of Statoil and the price of crude oil, we put in a very cool functionality here called continue reverse. And now I can move back to my previous slide and show that one, and, and again, it's all laid out for you to make it a very easy and very nice flow in your show. Now the buttons on the side here are also configurable. We want them to work for you and for your show. In order to configure them, simply access the menu here and click on the button configuration. In the button configuration, we're drawing attention to the six available buttons that are on the side. Now right now, three of them have been configured with actions. Now, I could take an already configured button and change it to another action simply by tapping it, or I could also set it to no button. In the no button, like the three on this side, it will not even be shown in your playlist. Now I could tap an empty button. I could set that, for instance, to the continue action. So now I've moved my continue to the other side of the screen, making it available for my left hand thumb. Again, the intention here is for this to be very easy, very quick to use. I can double tap this one here, and in a very natural manner, without drawing focus, I can advance it to the next one. That's pretty much all I had to show you here. Thank you very much for your attention, and uh, go have fun with your Viz Anchor.